Hello, in the previous video we talked about a padding technique called cyclic shift and in this video we are going to explain that if we use this padding technique it's gonna introduce a new challenge for the windows that are located on the last row and the last column of each stage. So to solve this problem in the code they propose a specific type of masking that we are going to implement that in this video. Okay, let's start. Okay, using the cycle shift uh, we are going to face a challenge. Let's look at this picture for example i have a picture here uh, that uh, i have for example here on the ground i have grass on the ground and then i have a tree and on the right side i have a house and then in the sky i have a bird but after we do cycle shift this bird from top is now here and down or for example a sky from left is now here on the right okay for example consider one of the windows for example this window here and the problem is that now one token for example one token here which belongs to uh, the ground or grass is now related to the token that is coming from a sky for example a token from here and we don't want that and this problem happens for all of the windows in the last row also for the last column for example here consider this window on the left side the tokens belong to the house but on the right side, these tokens are related to sky because they came from the other side of the image. So we don't want them to be related to each other. So we have to apply a specific type of masking. And this happens for the, all of the windows in the last row. So for example, in the stage one, so we have eight windows that are affected. And for the second stage, four windows, third stage, two window, and last stage, only one window. Also for the last column windows this happened. For all of the stages we need to consider masking for all of the last column windows. Okay now let's consider that I have one window which is 3 by 3 here and we can see the values and then we shift that to the half of the size of the window which is 1 here and then we get this one which is the shifted one and you can see now where these uh, values coming from. So for example 2 1, 3 1, these are the blue sections coming from the left side okay then we create one matrix like this which is 9 by 9 and with the values like this 0 means that it's gonna not be masked so it's gonna be the value itself but the ones means these locations are masked I just showed with number 1 but in reality in a slope 1 we are gonna use minus infinity the reason we use minus infinity is that that mask is going to be inside the exponential function and we know that in exponential function when we put minus infinity the value is going to be zero so basically if we add this mask to our original tensor so it's going to be minus infinity plus a small number so it's going to be still minus infinity and the output of that is going to be zero okay so that's the reason here you can see we are using minus infinity but in this uh, matrix i'm just showing minus infinities by one okay and this matrix is created by this code okay let's see how this matrix is gonna help us for example consider this uh, gray cell here so this gray cell is supposed to have relationships with one two and one three but not with the other elements so this gray cell here using this matrix it's gonna have a relationship with one three and one two and it's gonna be blocked for the other uh, elements similar here one two element one two gray here that's here that's gonna have a relationship with one three and one one and the others are blocked or cell one three here so one three here has a relationship with one two and one one but blocked from the others so using this matrix now i'm able to have relationship between the tokens in the last row but not with the others okay so it's blocked from the others now let's look at how the elements in the top sections are blocked from the down so for example 2 1 here gets connections to these five tokens and not to the last row or 2 2 or 2 3 here or 3 1 here or 3 2 here or 3 3 here okay so basically using this the tokens on the top sections are related to each other and not related to the tokens in the last row and we can have another matrix which is created by this code for the last column 
So now our matrix is gonna look like this. Again, zeros means pass and ones here are minus infinity. Okay? If we look at the last column now, we can see the last columns are related to each other. For example, here we can see 2, 1. 2, 1 is now related to 3, 1 and 1, 1 and blocked from the others. Also 3, 1 is connected to 2, 1 and 1, 1 and blocked from the others. And now we can see all of the tokens in the green sections are related to each other and they are blocked from the tokens from the right section. And that's what we are looking for to have. Okay. Okay. Let's review what we just said. We said that this cycle shift is going to cause a little challenge for us, especially for the last row and last column. And we said that for each stage, we are going to consider this masking for the last rows and last columns. And then we showed how our mask matrix should look like for the last row and how that should look like for the last column. Okay, let's go forward. Let's look at our class again. And now we need to consider those masking. For masking, we are adding these uh, four lines. And uh, one point that we should consider is that uh, when we are creating masking, the parameters are not learnable. So that's the reason that these requires grad or false. So you can see here, requires grad is false. Okay. Okay, now we have this function create mask. The input is window size, which is seven. Displacement is three for us. And then we say if we want a upper lower or left right. First, we are going to create one all zero values matrix, which is the size of that is going to be 49 by 49 uh, because our window uh, size is seven here. And if you remember uh, from the numerical example where window size was three, so the size of the matrix was nine by nine. Okay, then we say, uh, for example, we want upper lower. And if upper lower is true, we are going to create uh, this one. So we are going to create this matrix. And you can see, for example, here, uh, the first line here is going to create down left section. So from minus three to the end for the rows, so from the minus three to the end. And for the columns, you can see from the beginning to the minus three. And the second line is also going to be this section. So it's going to be from the uh, uh, beginning of the rows to all the way to minus three. So it's going to come all the way to minus three. And then for the columns, it's going to start from minus three, which is here to the end. Okay. So the second line is also this section. We can also have left, right as true. And if that's true, we are going to create this matrix. And if you look at this matrix, we can see that we have a pattern. So for example, if you consider this three by three matrix, so uh, it's zero, zero, uh, zero, zero, one, 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 zero. And this pattern is repeated throughout the matrix. And uh, for creating this, we can just use this uh, code. And let's test that with a numerical example. For example, I'm gonna create a mask with window size three, displacement one, upper lower, false and left right is true so i'm gonna be on this section and let's create that and we can see for example at the beginning so this was the uh nine by nine matrix that we just uh created as a uh, original ma mask and then uh we fill out those uh sections that we, we are interested in and created that matrix that we wanted and you can see that pattern exists so zero, zero, minus infinity, zero, zero, minus infinity, minus infinity, minus infinity, zero. And this three by three pattern is repeated throughout the matrix. And this is exactly what we showed here. Just in a set of ones, we have minus infinity as we should have. Okay, now we have our uh, create mask. And now we know that here where we use that, what is the function of that? So it's gonna uh, mask tokens in the last rows and the last column windows. And you can see here we have two different type of masks. One of them is upper lower mask, where uh, here we put upper lower true and left right false. And then we have another mask, which is the left right mask. So where uh, upper lower is false and left right is true. 